Hey, this is Barry. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at a free AI tool, which is text to video prompting. And it is just incredible, the results that we're getting on here. Now it's via pika.art. And what you need to do is go to their website. And then what you can do is you can go to join beta at the top. You fill out this form and within a few days, they should give you access for free. But what is amazing is, as I say, it's a free tool. So the way that you access it, is via the Discord server. So when you've got access, you'll receive an email giving you a link to the Discord server. And there's a huge amount of channels on here. But the way that it really works, you've got prompt help and chat if you want to go on there. You've got all of these generate channels on the left hand side, generate one, two, three, four, five. And then you've got showcase, support, feedback, etc. So if I have a look at generate channel one, and just have a look at some of the videos that have been produced. Let's check out this one. This is a shy girl in Diamond Aura cinematic. Looks pretty good to me. This one is Diamond Aura again. Look at that, I think that's incredible. Now you will get the thumbnail at the bottom of the screen, so just be aware of that. But this is known to be one of the best free AI text prompt to video tools that you can currently use at the moment. So what you need to do is you find a channel that you want to use. I normally try and go mid-range, so I normally try channel three out of five, because if you generally put everything on one, it's just going to slow the servers down. And you'll go onto your keyboard in the message and you'll go forward slash, and then it'll actually tell you what prompts you can put in. So there's all of these different things like spoiler, thread, message but what we want to use is create so I'll click on create prompt and I can say I don't know Apple Tim Cook looking through AI vision pro headset now I'm not convinced this is going to do an amazing job on that but I thought I'd give it a go anyway. So it is generating the video now. So while it's doing that, let's have a look at another couple of examples, shall we? Let's have a look at, the, let's have a look at these here. Oh, that went a bit crazy. What you'll find is you may need to run these a couple of times to get more close to the effects that you want. I do believe that these tools will have more control. At the moment, you have got an up vote, a down vote, and a refresh vote. So you have got some options there. And, but what it's producing, it is producing some amazing stuff. I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh, that is just incredible. And I hate the fact that six months down the line, we're just kind of taking this for granted now. I'm, I'm finding it, you know, you, you do have to kind of relook and think how far we've come with text to video. Text to video wasn't even possible, say, three months ago. And I just think it's incredible what results we are getting. But as I say, I'm completely convinced that the control will improve as we go forward. So we've had five messages since I asked for that generation. So we see if I can find my prompt. So it's still generating the video at the moment. So while it's doing that, let's have a look at a different channel. Channel two, an F1 race taking place. Look at that. That is incredible. Now, we can tell that this stuff's AI generated, but think what's going to happen in maybe another six months time. That could be so realistic that you'll believe that that was actually shot in Formula One and that that isn't AI video generated at all. And I think when we do get to that stage, it's going to be very revolutionary. But Pika, Lab, Pika Labs seem to be doing some great things here. I'm very impressed with their generation tools. Obviously, it's trying to do a lot in one go. You can see there's a couple of mistakes happening there, like that car shouldn't have existed. Um, let's have a look at this one here. See, that looks really cool, doesn't it? It's incredible. You know, if you could change the text at the top, maybe the text at the bottom of the car, that would be really cool. 90, 90s cartoon heroes in waiting position, strong wind. Look at that. <laughs> I'm just so impressed with this stuff. Let's have a look. Right, so now... There we go. Oh my gosh, that does look a bit like Tim Cook. But what's happened to him? He's kind of submerged into the building. But you know, you've even got the Apple logo. That is so cool. Okay, I'm going to give it, I don't know, I'll give it a like because it is good. 
it's not perfect, but I am going to ask for it to uh, refresh because I would like it to regenerate that. So again, I click the refresh button. It's gone to the bottom of the screen. So while it's doing that, I'm going to have a look at some of the other. Oh, frightening. Have a look at some of the other generated channels. We've seen that one. Let's have a look at generate five. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Oh, they, some people are hiding their proms, just to let you know. That is an amazing water park. I'd love to go there. How much fun would that be? Look at this one, jumping into the water. Oh, wow. Is it just me, or is this stuff just incredible? Look at the reflection of the sun on the coral. That is incredible. So impressed with that one. Okay, we've got some pimps here, so I'm going I'm to skip those. <laughs> oh dear. This one. Man walks on a path in a forest at night with tall trees up close. Wow, you can see the headlights of a car, maybe. Or a torch, someone with a torch. It just gets your mind thinking, you know, and that's one of the things I absolutely love about this. Okay, this one's been hidden. Whoa! Imagine what CGI effects, how long that would take someone to do. And that's what I mean. Having more control about this stuff is going to be paramount to it becoming even more useful going forwards. That is just so, so cool. Very impressed with that. We've got some upvotes on here as well. Some of them do have a lot of creepiness about them. Look at these candles. And, you know, we're looking at three seconds videos at the moment. I've heard that that might improve in the future. Look at this anime fight sequence. Oh, imagine if you can do whole cartoons like this. Yeah, you could do really well doing that. Excellent. So there we go. My prompt is now done. Oh, my God. Look at this. Tim Cook. Wow. Very serious looking on that one. However, that is a lot more realistic. And I know we're not quite there. It's because there's not enough stuff on the internet for the algorithm to understand actually Tim Cook putting on the Pro headset because that hasn't actually happened. We haven't seen that in any of the events that Apple's done yet. So, uh, but I'm really happy with the results. Let me know what you think in the comments. A like to the video would always be appreciated. And make sure you hit subscribe because I feature all things AI related. And also stuff for musicians as well. Okay, take care. Cheers. Bye.